Welcome back to Heard on the Street with me, Russia, and today we're still with Bogi Wichaksono, the Director of Telecom Wholesale and International Service. Well, but one last question before we go. Um, what's the future like for telecom wholesale and international business? We see one emerging trend that is coming up, generative AI. There's rapid adoption on yeah. Gen AI, one of the most uh, fastest uh, technology that is adopted yeah. in the history of the world. Yeah. And it's definitely for sure will impact it telecommunication industry. Yeah. Uh, how do you see that and what can we expect from telecom wholesale and international business in the near future as well? Yeah. In terms of infrastructure, we are ready. Mm. We are ready. But beyond infrastructure, there are so many things that we have to prepare. Mm. What is the inf the things what it is the thing that we have to prepare? You know that for the AI mm computing process right now it depends on GPU mm. GPU is like a processors mm -hmm. very fast processors for computing the uh, the artificial intelligence for surfing the AI uh, uh, computing services mm -hmm. recently the power requirements is very very Huge. So we have find the way how to serve the AI or AI computing providers come to Indonesia. Mm. Because right now I already I already uh, do a very intensive uh, discussion mm -hmm. in Japan uh, last week yeah, mm -hmm. about how to implement AI in Indonesia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The scariest thing is uh, if we miss, uh, this is like a data center, mm. if we miss uh, attract the AI player coming to Indonesia, mm -hmm. all the habit, mm -hmm. all the behavior of people mm. will be stored and analyzed. Okay. I got goosebumps just to hear. Hear about it. Imagine that your behavior, yeah. almost all of F Gen Z behavior, mm -hmm. even government don't know. Mm -hmm. And F the behavior being collected, being analyzed outside Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And they can easily to manage the people. Mm -hmm. So that's why mm -hmm. I'm still thinking hard, mm -hmm. how to attract not just mm -hmm. only data data or OTT players, mm -hmm. AI players AI coming players, to yeah. Indonesia. Because developing AI is another type of human we have <laughs> to deal with. Yeah. AI can easily change the human being. Can disrupt the culture immediate if we cannot protect our people, mm -hmm. if we cannot have guidelines mm -hmm. for the implementation of AI. Mm -hmm. It's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So uh, for AI, we have already engaged with uh, say Microsoft and mm. then many AI, oh, yes. AI providers that beyond those uh, business collaboration, mm -hmm. the things that I'm doing is uh, how to attract mm -hmm. the players mm -hmm. coming in. Okay. Not only business, but mm. we can at least we can regulate mm -hmm. what kind of processing mm -hmm. they can do, mm -hmm. what kind of application mm -hmm. they can implement mm -hmm. for the daily people life. Yeah. Imagine yes. that you never know about how to make nasi pecel. Because of AI, regenerative. Yeah. Always reading the menu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reading the menu and also Modif you see that modify, 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 and then we lose our culture. Yeah. What is nasi pecel actually? Yeah. The ori the genuine nasi pecel. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Everything easily can be can be drifted mm -hmm. to the uh, country to the power need. Mm -hmm. Let's say I want to change the mind of people of Indonesia mm -hmm. for not eating nasi pecel. Mm -hmm. And then by generative AI, they can make a recipe mm -hmm. 
uh, modify mm-hmm. and then very consistent mm-hmm. modify the recipe yeah. and then and then until maybe one year totally people don't know about nasi pecel. Yeah. And what can we expect Pak from Telkom Wholesale and International Service? My ultimate target is a seven initiative or for uh, creating a global belt. We mm. call it ICE 1 until ICE 7 mm-hmm. can be finished. Mm-hmm. So we can become the center of the uh, traffic for satellite business uh, after we have a high throughput satellite we think that we can answer the requirement or the needs of the people of in in a rural area mm-hmm. that we can serve with a more affordable uh, price mm-hmm. in terms of connectivity cost mm-hmm. and also for the nitratel mm-hmm. deploy mm-hmm. in more uh, aggressive mm-hmm. for coverage in in the sub urban or the rural mm-hmm. area of indonesia mm-hmm. and also connectivity among towers using fiber optics I see. because right now you know that previously uh, for tower connectivity mm. we use microwave mm-hmm. the bandwidth of microwave is, is very very limited or small mm-hmm. so the mission of the mitra tell still long way to go mm-hmm. still a lot of homework is a how to lay fiber optic as much as possible mm-hmm. to all of the towers so it can be connected connected integrated, integrated. both towers yeah. and fiber optics towers fiber optics and then satellite, uh, satellite and also in the data center data center Okay, Fabogi, thank you so much for yeah. your time and explaining all about yes. Telkom Wholesale thank you. and thank International you, Services. All right, that was our conversation with Bogi Wijaksono, the Director of Telkom Wholesale and International Service. Be sure to follow us on Telkom Indonesia and put your thoughts on the comment below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.